What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I've got another video for you today of things I've sold on eBay. These are all actual sales from the past month or so. Not everything I've sold, but a lot of interesting things that you can look for when you're going to garage sales or thrift stores. Lots of bolos here. Be on the lookout for them. They can make you money. As always, if you enjoy this type of video, make sure to hit the like button and I will keep making them. But let's jump into it. Bought this Stetson hat at a garage sale for only $1 and I ended up selling it for $90 plus shipping. Took a couple months to sell. I remember when I bought it, I saw it with Stetson. I asked the guy how much he wanted. I figured he would tell me some crazy amount because usually that's what people say with Stetson hats, but he said a dollar. I said, well, I'll take it. Sold these works by Red Wing Boots. Got these at Goodwill for $10 and I sold them for $60 plus shipping. They took about a month to sell. Here is this Hello Kitty water dispenser. I got this at a garage sale for $5. I sold it for $50 plus shipping. Took about a week and a half to sell. Here's a pair of Under Armour shoes. I got at Goodwill for $5. Sold them for $49 plus shipping. Ah, I believe they took about nine months to sell. I actually picked up two identical pairs, just different sizes at the, the same Goodwill that day. And they're actually new without tags, so. Nice flip. I bought this vintage clock at a garage sale for 50 cents. It was in great condition. And with it being 50 cents, that's one reason I bought it. I didn't know how fast it was going to move, how it was going to sell or anything, but I priced it $20 and it only took about three weeks to sell. So 50 cents into $20, no complaints. Would buy again. Here's an incredible shoe flip. I just happened to be at a Goodwill when they were putting out some shoes. Ended up getting four or five brand new pairs of shoes. A couple really good New Balance shoes were in there. These sold for $115 plus shipping. I only paid $5 for them. They're new without tags or box. The other pair of New Balance are close to a $200 pair of shoes. So just a phenomenal flip from Goodwill. Here is a nice flip. I sold this Sony Betamax player. Don't see these very often. Picked up a couple of them at Salvation Army before it closed. Finally got around to listing one of them anyway. And it sold in less than a week for $150 plus shipping. Probably could have got a bit more for it. It's missing the door here. Plus it's a, a model that's not a newer one or a more desirable model. Does have the remote though. Priced it to sell and it sold. I'm happy. Probably have like $15 into this. Sold another one of these pop-out outlets I got at a garage sale. Paid $1 for it, and I sold it for $58. Here is a vintage Yonix badminton racket. Got this at Goodwill for $2. Sold it for $90 plus shipping. Took about a week, week and a half to sell. Some of these rackets can be incredible money. Ended up getting five of these Beetlejuice Blu-rays. Brand new sealed, I believe I paid $20 for all of them. Been selling them for $18. This is the last one, so I made some good profit after I sold them all. Here's a pair of Merrill shoes. I don't remember where I got these, but I did sell them for $20 plus shipping. Uh, I think they've sat for at least a year. Probably got them at a rummage sale and definitely didn't pay more than $5 for them at Goodwill. Here's a Philips DVD VCR combo. Sold this one for $55 plus shipping. Took about a week to sell. Here is a Rival Crock-Pot lid. I bought a actual Crock-Pot with the lid and pieces for only $2 at Goodwill. Oddly enough, the whole crock pot was only selling for around $20 plus shipping. It wasn't selling great. However, the lid I sold for $23.88 plus shipping and it sold within 24 hours. I'll sell the knob and I'll also sell the like stoneware pot that goes inside. It's weird that people would pay more for the lid when they could just buy the whole crock pot, but it's just how it works. Here is an interesting flip and slightly disappointing. I found these Kiss boots at Goodwill. They wanted $40 for them, however. But looking up comps, the only pair that was on eBay at the moment uh, was from Canada and they had them priced $450. There was another pair that had sold on auction for about $140. So I was gonna price these kind of high just to see if they would sell. However, the actual manufacturer, the company, who makes these has an eBay listing and an Amazon listing I ended up finding uh, where they sell these new for $150. So mine are pre-owned and uh, they have a few small little nicks and flaws on them. So I decided I'd price them $90 plus shipping 
and uh, they still sold within about a week. Pretty much doubled my money on it, so I'll take it. Here's a couple speakers from a Sony unit. I bought a garage sale, paid $10 for the unit. Lady told me it worked. It did not work. So I sold the main part of it there for, well, I don't remember what I sold it for, but I paid $10 for all of it. And I know I made money parting out that. I've made money on the remote, which I've sold. And now I'm selling the speakers for $25 plus shipping. So I'm still making great profit on it, even though it didn't work. Here is a Shane Acid Wash Jean purse or tote bag. Got this at a rummage sale for 50 cents. I figured it would sell and I ended up selling it for $28. Took about a month to sell. So here is this vintage Snossages pet treat container. When you open it, it's supposed to talk, make noise. However, the metal piece that connects the batteries is missing in there. I did not realize this when I bought it at Goodwill for, I think, $3.99. You know, if it was working as intended, I probably could have sold it for about $30 plus shipping. I was just going to kind of toss it, but I decided to put it on eBay because I'm like, somebody might still want this. Maybe they'll want to repair it. So I put it on there for $13 plus shipping. Sat for about a year. Someone's finally bought it. So I got my money back and even made a little bit of money, but it was unfortunate it didn't work. Here's a pair of Justin boots. I got these at a garage sale for $10. I sold them for $70 plus shipping. They took about a week and a half to sell. There's always different styles of Justin boots that do well. Some don't do as well. Here is a Dallas Cowboys G3 Carl Banks jacket. Actually, a, oh, I don't know. It's been about a year, I think. I got a couple of these at Goodwill. They weren't marked up, so I think I paid the, what is it, $7.99 coat price. I had this one listed for $100. Someone sent me a message, said, would you take... 80. I said, sure, why not? Even though jacket season's around the corner, I probably could have got 100, but just get this moved. I want to get the other one listed as well. So $80 plus shipping. Phenomenal. Here's the last of these faucets. I had three of them. Sold all three for $110 plus shipping. Now, I don't remember if these came from Home Depot or Lowe's or what, but I have somewhere between $25, $35 into them. So some great profit. This is a vintage Warwood uh, blacksmithing tool of some sort, I believe. Couldn't find any exactly like this on eBay. I got this from an older couple who were downsizing, gave me a bunch of stuff. So I don't have any money into this, and I ended up getting $40 for it in the end. Only took a couple days to sell, so I'll take it. Here is a pair of Dr. Comfort shoes. I believe they're probably new or unworn or close to it. Anyway, I got them at a garage sale for $2, and I sold them for $35 plus shipping. Took about a week, week and a half to sell. Here is a vintage Fisher-Price Noah's Ark set with figures. Got this at a garage sale for $5. Sold it for $30 plus shipping, and it took a couple weeks to sell. Sold a couple more electronics. This Panasonic VCR and a Sony recorder. Sold the Sony recorder for $40, and the Panasonic player for $55 plus shipping. Both of these took less than a week to sell. Here's a Philips combo unit. Got this for $3 at a garage sale and I sold it for $35 plus shipping. Didn't have a remote. Took about a week and a half to sell. Here is a plasma light. This is not Lumisource like the other two I found recently. However, I did find this at a Goodwill. It was priced $10 and I thought, you know what? I couldn't find any comps so I decided I'd buy it and give it a shot based on what the Lumisource was selling for. I priced it $40 plus shipping and, well, it took a couple weeks and it sold. Here is a Fun World Scream Mask. I got this in another mask for $25. Sold it for $70 plus shipping. It's leaving the country. Buyer paid uh, just under $100 to get it. Of course, I mentioned some of these Fun World vintage Scream Masks, especially the original one, can go upwards of $1,000. Took about a week to sell and it was good profit and easy to ship. Here's a hat I picked up at a rummage sale for 50 cents, I believe it was. Sold it for $20. Took about three months to sell. Here's a TI 83 plus calculator. I got this at Goodwill for a couple bucks. Sold it for $35. These things, great sellers. Sold a couple of VCRs. I got this Panasonic one down here. Both of these do not have the remote. Sold the Panasonic for $40 plus shipping. Then this Sony one here, I sold for $55 plus shipping. And it sold within 
about five minutes of me listing it. This one was interesting because it had a 99 cent sticker on it from the thrift store. I don't know if I paid 99 cents or that just got stuck on there somehow, but more electronic sales, I'll take it. Got this Linksys 5 port work group switch at a rummage sale for $3. I sold it for $15 plus shipping. Took about three weeks to sell. Here is a faucet. Got this at Home Depot. I believe I paid around $25 for it. Sold it for $110 plus shipping. Took somewhere between between 9 and 12 months to sell. I don't remember exactly. Here's one of these KitchenAid coffee pots. Got this from a coffee maker. I'm parting out. Paid $5 for the coffee maker. I sold this piece for $22 plus shipping. Took about 36 hours to sell. It's profit. Here is this pop-out outlet. I got uh, six of these. At a barn sale, I paid a dollar a piece for them, and I sold this one for $58, so quite a good flip. Really good after I sell the rest of them. Here's a remote for a Sony unit I bought that did not work. Just ended up selling the remote for $13. Probably took a couple months to sell. I believe I got these Dr. Comfort shoes at a rummage sale for a dollar. It's possible these came from Goodwill for like $5. Don't remember exactly, but I did sell them for $35 plus shipping. Probably listed around two to three months. Here's one of these vintage Galaxy fans. Got this at a garage sale for only $5. It's clean. It's in good condition. It's finally fall and well, it sold. I have about three fans listed. I was hoping they'd all sell throughout the summer, but this is the first one I've been uh, leaving some at garage sales because I don't want to buy any more. This is a big one. Sold it for $80 plus shipping for a total of $131.47. And it took about four or five months to sell. Glad to see this big thing go, but I made some good profit. Picked up this DVD set at a thrift store. Paid a dollar for it and I sold it for $20. I believe it took about eight months to sell. Here is this Bratz doll. I got this in a collection I bought at a garage sale. Oh, I didn't pay much for that collection. It was like $20. I got a lot of dolls. Sold this one for $45 plus shipping. Took a little over a year to sell. Here is a Louisville Slugger bat. I got this. I think I got this at a sale for a dollar, this particular one. If not, you know, I paid probably under $8 for it. I sold it for $50 plus shipping. Took about three or four months to sell. It's been a great baseball bat season. Here's a JVC DVD VCR combo. Got $10 or less into this. I sold it for $55 plus shipping. This one took a couple weeks to sell. Here's a Sony bookshelf system. I got this at a garage sale for $10 and I sold it for $70 plus shipping. Took about two days to sell. Honestly, they're not that bad to ship either. Fast turnaround. Here is a vintage Tonka Jeep. I got this at Goodwill for a couple bucks. Sold it for $30. It took about seven, eight months to sell. Here's some of this Canon photo paper. Got this at a garage sale for a quarter a piece. There's four of them there. Got a dollar into it. Sold them for $15 plus shipping. Took about nine months to sell. Here is one of these bookshelf Stratego games. I got this at Goodwill. I think I paid about three bucks for it. I ended up selling it on Amazon doing FBA, but it was returned. When I got it back, well, you can see the edges are just beat up. Probably because when Amazon ships stuff, they don't package it very well. They just throw it in a box or whatever. Maybe that's why it was returned. I don't know. It is complete in there. The pieces are in good condition. So I just went ahead and put it on eBay for $15 plus shipping and it took about a week and it sold. So still making money in the end. I think I sold it on Amazon for like 45, 50 bucks though. Ended up selling these Asics shoes I got probably at Goodwill for $5 for $24 plus shipping. Buy so many shoes like this, I just don't remember how long they've sat. I bought a bunch of games at a garage sale in a box for $30. These are two that were in there. Condemned one and condemned two. Sold these for $30. Also sold a Deadpool game, PS4, for $77. So already making some good profit on those games. Got a couple of these Franklin Mint horses. These were given to me, so I don't have any money into them. Ended up selling them for $30 plus shipping. Took about two weeks to sell. Picked up some of these whole house humidifiers at a Home Depot. Believe I have about 40 some dollars into them. Sold this one for $130 plus shipping. Took probably six, seven months to sell. Here is a lot of Stephen King paperback books. I ended up selling these for $30 plus shipping. There's 15 of them there. So this puts me into the profit, making about $15. And then when I sell all the rest of the books, 
it's going to be even more money. Here's a pair of Vast boots. I got these at Goodwill. I believe I paid $10 for them. Really nice boots. Had somebody messaging me, I remember, a while back, wanting me to rate these between a 1 and a 10. And I rated them a 7, which is, I'd probably actually rate them an 8. But I told them I don't like to do that because everyone's rating system is different. Sent about 10 more messages asking me about the condition. It was very bizarre, so I just blocked the person. I didn't want them buying them because if they're that picky about the condition, they're going to find something wrong with them anyway uh, a few weeks later they've sold $60 plus shipping I'll take it I paid two dollars for a crock pot at a goodwill that I could make more money on parting it out so that's what I'm doing I already sold the lid for $25 I sold the knob for $10 Here's a second QB like this I've sold this year. Got this one at Goodwill for $7.99. I sold it for $80 plus shipping. Glad to see these large items selling and getting out of here, leaving me some space. Took about two weeks to sell. Here's the last piece to the $2 crock pot I bought at Goodwill. I've already sold the knob for 10, the lid for 25, and I got $28 for the ceramic insert. Made more money parting it out than I would have if I just sold the whole thing. So sometimes that works out. Here are some of these Prope shoes. I got these at a Goodwill. I paid $5 for them. I think I got some other pairs that day as well. They're size like 16XXX, you know, very big shoes which is why i bought them because the brands are not that great but i ended up selling them for 40 dollars plus shipping here's a couple of boot sales got these birkenstock men's boots i found at goodwill for only five dollars and i sold them for 112 dollars plus shipping they only took about two weeks to sell and i got these women's harley boots which i picked up at a garage sale i believe i only paid 50 cents for these the toes were kind of scuffed up but i cleaned them up and uh sold them for 30 dollars plus shipping and these took a couple months to sell here's a franklin mint dog <laughs> christmas tree it's missing the star on it i got it uh, last year at a garage sale for five dollars it was listed through christmas uh i forget what i had it priced at ended up lowering the price to around 89 dollars and today i got somebody wanting to buy it for 65 i said you know what sure even though christmas is coming up i might as well just sell it now yeah it's good to see it sell made some great profit on it honestly in, in better condition some of these trees can get up to 200 dollars. it's it's madness that people pay that much for them sold the last of these muscle cars i picked up at goodwill for two dollars sold it for fifteen dollars took uh, about a year to sell i think here's a pair of these sperry duck boots i got these at a garage sale for one dollar i sold them for twenty dollars plus shipping they took about a month to sell here is a bread maker paddle i don't remember the details on this i part these out a lot sold this one for fifteen dollars I'm sure it sat for at least a year. Sold a couple of these filters. I remember getting these at Home Depot on some really deep clearance. So it seems like I paid like a dollar for these. Ended up selling them for $25 a piece. So that's some good profit for as little as I paid. Sold this Jeep. I got a bunch of these at Goodwill one day. They had them there new. $5 a piece. Sold this one for $40 plus shipping. I think I've sold a couple others. It's been uh, a year since I've listed them, so they're not selling super fast, but hey, $5 into $40, I'll take it. Here's a fun flip. I got these Gruley candles, which are vintage. Quite old, I believe, from the 20s, 30s, maybe 40s. They kind of got a unique look to them, but a lot of times they have the tag on the bottom, so they're easy to find. I, I got this set of three for ten dollars and i sold them for sixty dollars plus shipping had these in a video of stuff to look for awesome to sell found them last year had them listed but unfortunately they didn't sell last halloween but they've already sold this year i was just thinking i need to lower the price uh yesterday and i'm glad i didn't i typically sell these kohler faucets on amazon which was the plan however the listing was for a cell phone case picture of the faucet tried to get amazon to change it it's just near impossible that's a whole other rant so I just sold it on eBay. I sold it for $70 plus shipping. I got this at, oh, Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere. I don't even remember now. Probably paid around $25, $30 bucks for it. Here's this model train, I guess, uh, church that goes to a set. This came from Denmark. It actually... I found a bunch of train stuff at Goodwill for about $20. I've already sold all that. This one looked like I could sell it separately, so I priced it $20. And uh, about a year later, it is sold. It's international. It looks like it's going back to Denmark. And buyer paid over $50 to get it, so I'll ship it out. Picked up this 
cordless precision screwdriver at a Lowe's. Paid around $3 for them. Uh, I sold this one for $25. Sold my second pair of these Nightmare Before Christmas Crocs. I'm sure you've heard me mention by now, but I picked up 10 pairs of rare Crocs at a garage sale. I sold one pair for $450. I've been selling some other pairs. This one I sold for $115 plus shipping. Took about three months to sell. Definitely going to be clearing uh, $1,200 when I saw all the Crocs I got that day. Sold another one of these battery operated precision screwdrivers. Got these at Lowe's for like three, five dollars. Sold it for twenty-five dollars. Here's a ceiling fan I got at Lowe's or Home Depot. Don't even remember now. Probably paid around twenty-five dollars for it. Sold it for one hundred dollars plus shipping. Took about six months to sell. Here's one of these things that I went to list and I'm like, why'd I buy this? It's a bunch of McDonald's uh, vintage buttons from like the 80s and 90s. Paid $5 for it at a Goodwill. When I looked it up, I saw a couple comps where about this many sold for around $30 or $40. So I'm like, hey, it's a good deal. When I went to list it though. I noticed, I didn't pay enough attention to how many lots were listed. Hundreds of them listed and um, only about 23 comps for different button lots. So I'm like, oh boy, this will sit forever. I don't have time to be dealing with these <laughs> small profits. But I listed it for $20. Wanted to give it a, a chance to sell fast and it did. It sold in with about a week for $20 paid five dollars for it so in the end i made some money i'd probably pick them up again you know like a dollar or two happy to see them go though here's this xbox 360 ducktales remastered game got this at a garage sale for two dollars i sold it for 24 dollars took about a week and a half to sell got this disney cars helicopter at a goodwill paid two dollars for it i sold it for 24 dollars took less than a week to sell probably could have got a little bit more but there is some paint scratches and stuff on it helicopter blades are a little warped but yeah great flip i'll take it here is this seat cover i got at a goodwill for five dollars sold it for 25 dollars plus shipping this took about nine months to sell i think a couple of decent shoe sales these solomon shoes i got at goodwill for ten dollars i sold them for forty dollars plus shipping and then i also got these at goodwill got a bunch of new shoes that day they just happened to come out don't know why they were there all the same size i'm assuming some one just had a shoe collection they dropped off at goodwill anyway five dollars sold them for sixty dollars plus shipping uh ralph lauren polo sport so get those shipped out couple sales here i got this vans off the wall hat i picked this up at a garage sale for one dollar sold it for 18 plus shipping and i got one of these kohler toilet seats these are special they go on a high-end toilet a very expensive toilet I found five of these in Goodwill about a year and a half ago. I've sold one, maybe two. Uh, it's been a while. I did have them priced at $200 a piece plus shipping. So the last one I sold, I sold for $200, but I lowered the price to $150 on them because I just need them gone. They're kind of rare. There's not a lot of people looking for them, and I still got, you know, three or four more, however many. So I sold it for $150 plus shipping. Paid $20 for it. Here's this new in package Hot Wheels skateboard, 21-inch some packaging damage oh i think i paid like 6.99 for this at goodwill i sold it for 30 dollars plus shipping it took a few months to sell didn't really know how it would do i don't think there was any comps but turned out to be some pretty good profit there it is everybody i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something today don't forget to hit that like button for me on the way out make sure you are subscribed you can find me on twitter instagram and tiktok flipping underscore junk thank you for watching this has been wick until next time